morning my lovelies just checked out of my hostel um, just trying to see if mum's flight has landed in Kuala Lumpur I think it has so she should be about halfway um, yeah I'll get back to you in a sec yep she's all landed halfway there girl Yeah, you just want to get going. You're halfway now, that's the main Well, you're over halfway now, that's the main thing. Enjoying my last couple of hours of freedom before mother arrives. She's halfway. She's at Kuala Lumpur Airport. I was FaceTiming her just a minute ago, as you can see. Mad excited for her to arrive. Um, I'm checking into our place in Manly, but not until 2. Did I already say that? I can't remember. Um, so... I'll leave Bondi in about 11, 12, about two hours. Um, and I'm gonna need to get to a shop and get some pens and some card and that and make a little sign. So obviously I've got a big cringe and I have to form up. Um, yeah, I can't wait for today's vlog. You guys are gonna love it. Pop back to the hostel after breakfast to pick my case up. And now just waiting for the bus, which takes me to the ferry port at Watson Bay and then get the ferry to Manly and check in. Let's go. No. The bus driver just drove die? right past me and didn't stop. Nice one. And the bus was not full at all. So now I've got to wait another 20 minutes for the bus. Fantastic. Iconic. Ferry time. So nearly got on the wrong ferry once again, as I did the other day. But at the last minute I realised and over. Arrived in Manly. Now to find the Airbnb and try and check in. How's it going? Love that. <laughs> Go on the way. Just got to what I believe is the building and apparently the keys should be somewhere in one of these boxes but i can't find them so let's go on a little hunt and if not i'll call the lady well i found her correct mailbox because the lady's name's on the letters in there but the keys aren't there and she's not answering the phone so we have a problem problem solved the owner rang me the keys were just in a different place um let me give you a little tour doors just behind me so this is literally what you see as you walk in through here, I haven't even looked at. I'm assuming we've got a kitchen area. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I really like that painting. I saw one like that in Koh Yang in Thailand. That's lovely. Mum and Kath's bedroom. And my room's gonna make you laugh. Because I can't believe, apart from when I've stayed with Martin and Rosie, and, um, Luke, right at the start, I've been in hostels the whole time. I get to an Airbnb and I'm still going to be in a bunk bed. <laughs> God's sake. But no, it's lovely in here. I'm assuming this is our little boy's room. Um, yeah, so that's the little tour. What did I miss? Oh, bathroom. Shower here. Very nice, very nice. Going to have a little walk around Manly and then make route in a couple of hours to the airport to meet mum. Once I've sorted out the little sign situation, so I'm going to go do that now. Off we go again, heading to get the card and pens and all that to make a little sign. Excuse me. And then, um, <laughs> I'm not even going to cut that out. And then heading into the city centre, get some lunch and then off to the airport in a couple of hours. Got the supplies. Walk into the ferry point now, and I just keep thinking about that moment when I first see mum. <laughs> the kid gets so emotional. I'm so excited. Free snow cones, go on then. I love free things. about an hour and a half to kill before I need to make routes to the airport. So I might take a little walk through the botanical gardens actually. 
entertain myself. Of course it would help if I hadn't left my other phone on charge in the restaurants now, but I'll go back. Brilliant. Sometimes I question how I've made it for my travelling alone. Got me phone. Let's try it. Take two to get to the botanical gardens. Well, this is very lovely. The flowers smell beautiful as well. My nanny and granddad would love this. <laughs> Look at the koala. This is gorgeous. This is like Kew Gardens on steroids and you don't have to pay city amounts for it. So pretty. I'm trying to find my choir point which is a really good lookout location for the Opera House and Harbour Bridge, but I'm probably going to get lost. Look at all them little flowers. So nice. Assuming there's a show about to start here, as that little bit in the corner of the box office. So I'm not sure what. But something's going on. Sorry, but I just can't get over this place. It's absolutely stunning. So vast. Not bad for a view, is it? <laughs> Place is insane. Everyone queuing up for the open air cinema. <laughs> Made it to Mrs. McQuire's viewpoint. Ah, I found Mrs. McGuire's chair. And the homeless person laying on that picture. I'll point out while I'm here that it's Miss McQuarrie's chair, not Miss, what was I saying? McGuire's. Sorry about that. I'll make mistakes, some way. I have now got roughly 20 minutes <laughs> to get over there to get the bus in time. There's a few buses running and I could get a train to the airport as well, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper um, to get a couple of buses instead of a train and a bus. And something tells me that Mavla isn't gonna wanna be getting buses over the next few weeks. So best I keep it on the cheap whilst I can. Right, I'm gonna go because I need the toilet and I need to get there. And I'm sorry myself down talking to you a lot. So I'll catch back up with you when I'm on route to the airport. See you in a bit. Pretty much had to turn into Paula Redcliffe to get there on time. But I made it. Whew. Bus one of two or three, I'm not sure. Bus number two. I have no idea how I'm managing not to get lost. I'm in random suburbs somewhere outside of Sydney. I'm just using the um, Opal trip planner and trying to follow my location on the way because I don't know where I'm supposed to be getting on and off and it's hard working. Well, I guess it is. I'm making it so far. Third and final bus, almost at the airport. Let's have it. And I think they're due in about 45 minutes, which should give me time to suss everything out. I know they're arriving at Hall A when I get in there and to sort the sign out. Oops. Mum and Cara for 20 minutes from landing. Time to get the sign ready. Safe to say I wasn't born to be an artist. <laughs> a load of crap. I'm sure she'll like it though. Mum and Cara are five minutes away from landing. There's so many people in arrivals with balloons 
and flowers. I've never met anyone from a rival. They're so cute. Just like looking and watching people. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears watching other people reunited. Not even my turn yet. Literally tracking her coming down. <laughs> Three, four minutes away. Balloons and flowers everywhere. She's landed. Now we wait. This wait is an absolute killer. I'm sure this past hour has taken longer than the past 121 days. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I'm already crying at other people. I'm sure I'm starting to see a few English people come through now. I feel nervous and excited and anxious all at once. Am I sad? I just saw someone with a Kuala Lumpur luggage tag walk past me, which was the second flight mum was on, so that means she's got to be nearly coming out. People are coming out from both sides, so I'm trying to work it out. Honestly, this feels like the longest wait. It's been about 10 minutes since I said about that guy coming through with a pile of Olympic luggage tag on. Oh, come on. Too many English people are coming through now for this not to be close to her. So I'm waiting for mum to come out from there or down there if they take her through the proper customs bit. But most of the people are coming from this way. It's now been an hour since they landed. This is absolutely killing me. Oh, I want to see my mummy. I got too excited to hold it up. They've both turned up stone cold sober. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on. I don't tell anyone, we've got a reputation to uphold. They're here! <laughs> Best believe that out of the thousands of videos I've been recording over the last four months, the only one that failed to record properly <laughs> was the one when mum and Kath arrived because I was so excited I ended up cancelling it, I think. <laughs> For God's sake. Mum's come through with a birthday present ready for the Chelsea game in the morning. Love that. Mum and Kath are powering through their jet lag. She's brought us into a bakery. With Mavla. <laughs> she just chased a seagull. 